Is it just me? Or does it seem like everyone's fitting scleral lenses nowadays? Why not? Technology has come quite a long way in recent years. When fit correctly, these designs can now allow us to offer our patients an incredible option in both comfort and acuity. It's not all fun and games though. We need to continue to educate ourselves on these designs and potential complications. Like anything else, these lenses need to be respected and understood in order to nurture a healthy environment for that cornea. Today, I wanted to help with that education by addressing just one aspect of this important, delicate fitting process, filling solutions. Just like all contact lenses, a careful conversation has to take place with the patient regarding which solutions they can and cannot use. This conversation is taken to a whole other level when discussing sclerals. Now, patients are required to use multiple types of solutions, different ones for cleaning, storage, others for filling. So why is selection of a proper filling solution so important? Let's go back to the basics. The idea is that there is very little tear exchange when it comes to scleral lenses. For this reason, the solution that is inserted into the bowl of the lens is actually bathing that cornea for the entire day. As we understand this, we quickly realize that we have to use solutions that are free of ingredients that can create a toxic environment over a prolonged period of time. There are several types of filling solutions that can be seen in the literature. Let's take a closer look at both the advantages and the disadvantages of some of those recommendations. Bottled non-preservative solutions. Unisol is probably the most popular one prescribed. It meets the requirements of no preservatives, but we have to keep in mind contamination. With its reusable nature, potential contamination is definitely a factor. Single-use non-preservative artificial tears. These definitely meet the requirements of no preservatives. Because they are single-use, risk of contamination is also being addressed. One thing we do have to think about with these are buffers. Many contain buffers, which can be an irritant, cause buildup, or even be toxic to the cornea over time. Aerosol non-preservative solutions. Okay, we're addressing preservatives and contamination, but we do have a couple of concerns here. These products often contain buffers, which we just explained can be problematic with prolonged exposure. Scleral lens insertion is also complicated with this option as air bubbles can be seen frequently. Single-use 0.9 sodium chloride inhalation solution. While this is an off-label use, this type is recommended by the Scleral Lens Society and many practitioners worldwide. We are covered with the preservative and buffer issues and the single-use vials make for a safe and convenient environment for the patient. Single-use refresh cellulisk. Again, no preservative and no buffers. Single-use vials also reduce the risk of contamination. This method has other advantages though. Because of its thick properties, some practitioners are using it to manage ocular surface disease such as dryness. But it can also help with issues surrounding bubbles or spillage during insertion. BSS Balanced Salt Solutions BSS is a sterile physiological balanced salt solution that is isotonic to the tissues of the eyes. Some practitioners are using this as well. The consideration is that we understand that this is healthy for the eye and there's no risk of toxicity. When considering proper filling solutions for scleral lenses, we need to use something that will promote a healthy environment, as well as facilitate both vision and comfort. While the clinical recommendations limit us in some respects, I hope you can see that we still have many options at our disposal. Do you use any other solutions in your practice? Feel free to let us know about it in the comment section below. Happy prescribing.